Hey, you guys, thanks for listening in to this episode of Tips with Tea. On today, I have Miss Vivian with us. She's going to represent her husband, Nathan. Um, he's not able to be on the show today. But Miss Vivian, tell us more about yourself and what you guys do as entrepreneurs. Hey, Tay, nice to talk to you today, and thanks for having me on the show. Uh, my husband and I run ocean training passages on our boat. We deliver sailboats, and we help people learn how to go on long distant offshore passages on a sailboat. So we run trips from three to, you know, up to two week uh, passages. Um, we can go coastal sailing or um, crossing the Gulf Stream to the Bahamas. We have trips planned to cross the Atlantic. And yeah, we just teach people every aspect of sailing from um, trimming sails to navigating and learning how to dock and do safety drills and yeah that's what we do <laughs> awesome so for people who are interested in either buying a sailboat or who just really love the idea of being on the water and doing long voyages mm -hmm. awesome so what made you guys decide to become entrepreneurs and start your sailing business? Well, the idea of sailing intrigued us because we love to travel. And when we realized that we can take our belongings with us while we're traveling, we we're like, let's buy a sailboat. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, we bought our first sailboat about five or six years ago. And we were spending a lot of money and time on the boat, working on the boat, and then working on land. And so we would always crave to be on the boat when we were, when we had our land jobs. And then we just realized, why don't we learn how to sail professionally? That way we can earn money while we live this lifestyle. Because a lot of people in the sailing community wait till they're retired to sailing you know sail off into the sunset and mm -hmm. you know work hard until you're 65 and you know with us we were just like well we don't want to wait that long and there has to be a way to be able to have the best of both worlds and actually with the with the creation of youtube a lot of people have been broadcasting and telling their sailing stories uh, on that platform and now I feel like a lot of younger people are interested in learning how to sail because of the there are a lot of uh, people that have a uh, sailing television shows mm -hmm. that document their lives on the boat so we teach people who want to actually learn how to sail be on a boat and take passages safely and get to the next port safely awesome so um, how has your photography business helped this business? Because I know you have a photography business of your own, so you take, you know, pictures. So how has that business was um, able to help with the sailing business? So I was a photographer before we bought the sailboat, and I, um, you know, a lot of my clients were on land, and, you know, I would be doing weddings and portraits, but when we started sailing offshore and doing long trips, I couldn't really keep my business up. But now I have started transitioning to doing more publication work and commercial work for sailing boats and motor yachts. Mm -hmm. So I take pictures for from anything from people who wanted to list their boats for sale or people who want personal photos. I take, I'm a FAA licensed drone pilot, so I can sell those drone pictures to people and I now merged my love of sailing with uh, photography by teaching people how to take photos on a sailboat. And yeah, that's how I try to make everything work. It's really fun um, showing people where we've been and kind of being creative and taking, you know, travel shots and uh, drone shots and all the places that we go to. 
Yeah. I was just going to ask you, like, I, I can see that it's benefit your business as far as the travel shots when people go out and they get on a sailboat and they want to have those type of pictures. Because um, now with the pandemic going on, you know, when you was right. people was able to go on be cruise ships, we're not really right. able to do that now. They was able to get the professional photos and stuff taken while they were on their trips and while they're doing excursions and stuff like that. Right. So they can still kind of get that same experience just on it, like private sailing boat um if they would like and, and i i hope that you know eventually we can i can start making you know personal travel albums for mm -hmm. people who have gone on our voyages that would be fun and really i i would love to create really big prints like um, metal on aluminum frames and things like that so yeah awesome awesome so um with this pandemic going on, so how has that affect y'all business? Are y'all were, were y'all able to pick up more clientele um during this time? Because you know, a lot of people they want to do, they want to still travel. Um, but now it's more so now if you want to travel, you mo mostly have to do it privately instead of with the big mm -hmm. um so it's affected us both negatively and positively. We've we were scheduled to do a couple international trips uh from Florida to the Bahamas and two days before we were supposed to leave. Bahamas closed their port so we couldn't go on that and so we postponed our spring training for next year but on the upside of that we it freed up some time to do uh, sailboat deliveries so people who buy boats are interested in uh, getting their boats from point A to point B and we get hired to deliver their boats to them mm. so it's kind of been you know we're trying to navigate to it. It definitely isn't the best thing to start a business during a pandemic, but knew, no one knew that this was coming. So, you know, we just kind of have to adapt and try to do our best. And, you know, a lot of people are, have, have lost a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. So we're just very thankful that at least, you know, we don't have to pay rent. You know, we bought a boat outright. We're not in debt and we can, sustain ourselves by picking up some freelance work as and until you know the pandemic kind of subsides and we try to gain our business back that way and we're slowly gaining more clients um to book for next year so i think a lot of people are itching to travel because mm -hmm. of quarantine yeah, so <laughs> we, have yeah. Been, we yeah. have been booking for next year well that's awesome so we're we're current we're where currently can y'all travel to um, where the borders are open or where they're allowing sailboats to come into? Because I know the Bahamas did close down their borders, but what other areas y'all might can go to at this time? Well, it's different every week, you know. Um, two weeks ago, the U.S. Virgin Islands were open, and now I think they're closing down to tourists as well. But in the continental U.S., we're able to uh, travel along the coast aside from like massachusetts won't allow you to travel to them unless you're from a new england state mm -hmm. like they don't let any floridians or californians travel to them without doing a two-week quarantine you know we're just every week is different mm -hmm. um we're planning currently we're in rhode island and we're gonna plan to head back to maryland in the chesapeake next month okay. so yeah, and we know we can go there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we've, been, we've been taking COVID tests as well, just to make extra, you know, careful. Every time we're in a new place, we try to mm -hmm. get a COVID test and stay safe. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you guys are staying safe and y'all are staying afloat during this time of the pandemic. Um, everybody is trying to find a way to travel now, so hopefully things will pick back up to start selling again. I know down here where I'm from, in Myrtle Beach area, Cherry Grove area, a lot of, you see a lot of people out on their boats, but they're just basically just out on the water, you know, cruising. It's not really traveling, but the people are finding different ways to travel now. Exactly. And like you said, you know, we have a 47 foot boat. So we take one anywhere between one to four clients right now. Mm -hmm. um, after the pandemic, I'll probably be able to take six, but 
anyone's interested in learning how to sail or just take a quick vacation along the coast, we sail. We're sailing to Bermuda in October and then the Caribbean in November. And then uh, we'll be in and out of like Puerto Rico, US Virgin Islands, and then back to Lauderdale um, in Florida, um, end of the winter, probably February of 2021. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. So um, are there any other services that you guys offer during this time? If you, other than selling and vacations and? Um, well, we can do a little bit of consulting if anyone is interested in buying a boat. Um, we help people determine what their cruising plans are and which kind of boat will fit those needs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know if, you know, they'll look at listings and say, oh, I love that boat. But then what reality is they aren't able to do a lot of coastal cruising. They need a deep water boat or, you know, there's just so many factors and different types of boats and we can help people kind of navigate uh a selection of boats. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you once again, Ms. Vivian, for coming on the show today and telling us more about your business and the life of being an entrepreneur on the water, which is exciting to me because I never would have experienced, would never would have thought of living on the water like that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's very beautiful, nice and relaxing especially during this time. Come down and we can go fishing and <laughs> maybe we'll catch a bigger fish than your dad catches. I know. We I would have to, Yeah, I would have to take you up on that offer. So um, I'm going to share the social media handles and you tell our listeners how they can get in contact with you and Nathan if they would like to. Sure. Just uh, check us out on our website. It's sailoceanpassages.com. You were also on Facebook and Instagram uh, with the sorry, with the at symbol uh, Ocean Passages. And then my photography business is just my name, VivianVong.com. And I'm on Instagram at Visa Media. So check us out, check out my artwork, and hopefully we'll see you out in the water. All right. And if you guys want to get in contact with me, my number is 910-317-0396. You can send me an email, contact at mjfinancial.biz, visit the website, www.mjfinancial.biz and you can find this episode on Anchor you guys and you can also find the playback to this episode on the YouTube channel so thank you again Miss Vivian for being on thank and tell Mr. So Nathan much. hello and we missed him but hopefully we can get him on the next episode <laughs> take care and yeah hope you hope to see you out in the water soon <laughs> i'll hit you up when we're in north carolina yeah please do that yeah. well all right you guys we'll see you on the next episode of tips with tea thank you <laughs>